Uh, the other point maybe I want, may want to look at is the issue for uh, 60 years. Uh, Madam Speaker, when you look at this country, particularly Kenya, where we are, uh, persons who are the age of 18 and 35, there are so many. When you add on the age of 45, Madam Speaker, it's almost 80%. Why allow a person to continue working after six, 60 years? Why can't we let this person retire, pay him uh, retirement, pensions, that when he still has the energy now, because most of these persons, some of them, have, have, not, have, been, have not been working from homes. They have been staying away from homes, from families for a very long time, for very long hours. Give him time when he's still strong uh, to jail with the family, to know even the house looks like after working for 60 years. Uh, Madam Speaker, what is so interesting with this, with this uh, practice is that the issue of retirement was actually left to an entity, a person, the CS, uh, so to say. And this is a person who can make any decision, any time, that suits that particular person at that particular, uh, in that particular situation. So if this becomes now an act, ma Madam Speaker, I would say that the issue of a person being retained a person because he has a special uh, talent should arise. Because we ask ourselves, when this person was in this position, maybe for even 20 years or 15 years, what was he doing and what was the management doing to ensure that there is smooth trans uh, transition from one level to another level? Madam Speaker, I've also found out that when it comes to this uh, acting, uh, this, this, this idea of the age. Sorry to interrupt you. There seems to be a very serious uh, Kamukunji a discussion where the Honorable Koimburi is. Uh, please, you may reduce, uh, please reduce your voices. Consult in lower tones so that we are able to hear what the Honorable Member for Malava yeah, is saying. Yeah, thank you, Madam Please Speaker. Please proceed. Yeah, thank you, Ma Madam Speaker. What I've also found with most officers in most organizations, uh, they put persons in particular positions so that these persons cannot actually be suitable when it comes to a promotion, so that this person cannot be suitable to replace them after their, uh, after their, um, their age, uh, has reached 60. So, Madam Speaker, we must ensure that as much as we are putting there this, this age retirement um, law, we also, also must ensure that when persons, uh, I mean all organizations, have systems that ensure that when a person, for example, is deputizing a particular person, this particular person, before confirmation or appointment in this particular position, actually has the requisite positions to be in that position and also even rise up to the other level without necessarily uh, what we are going through in this uh, particular uh, country. Uh, my brother was citing uh, uh, TSC. Uh, yeah, there's a small challenge with the TSC that some of the persons who are acting in positions of uh, deputies, uh, because of the new, requ uh, new requirement on promotions, you know, some of them is very interesting. They are acting a position of a deputy, I mean a position of a principal, but actually, even when it comes to promotion itself, this particular person cannot qualify to be principal. So this law will help actually to guide even TSC, to guide in terms of training so that the, the, there is seamless flow of uh, man, uh, personnel in this country to ensure effective delivery of uh, service. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker, and I support. Thank you very much. The Honorable Charles Ngusia, member from Wingi West. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for this chance to add my voice on this Bill on Public Service Commission Amendment Bill brought by Benjamin Mwanki. And from the onset, let me just say thank you and appreciation to this Member of Parliament for bringing up this bill on the floor of the House. Madam Speaker, I always believe that you should stay at young at heart in spirit and enjoy retirement living happily, Madam Speaker. From the onset, I support retirement age of 60 years. If you look at all the countries, the developed ones actually, Madam Speaker, they have set their retirement age between age 60 to 50 years and to 65 years and uh, I think I am fully in support because most of the time I have been quite disappointed seeing people who are even over 70 in public offices 
doing a lot of work, their minds are tired, their bodies.